Hey YouTube, this is Edward Underhill and I'm here with my review of the Mattel Defining Moments Sting from Starcade 1997 when he defeated Hollywood Hulk Hogan for the WCW World Heavyweight Championship in a not so great match but Sting came out wearing a this very badass outfit and I'm gonna get into why it's really cool first but we'll take a look at the box and his bat just fell on the ground or fell out of his hand so we got the Defining Moments box. It's the standard Defining Moments box with the network logo on it. And um, got a picture of Sting on the side. Very cool. And then you got the description of the figure on the back. You also got it in French as well because this is the Canadian release. I've got two of these Defining Moments Sting figures. I've got one that I ordered off of Ringside Collectibles back when it first came out. This is one I got at Toys R Us around Christmas, actually. But taking a look here at the figure, we'll start off with his accessories. First off is the trademark baseball bat. And um, it does have a wooden texture to it. I've heard, I've seen some reviews where people did point out, like um, Burnout Inc. point out that the bat wasn't actually made out of wood. It was made out of um, aluminum, I think. But if they're ever going to make like an official barbed wire baseball bat, you can always just repurpose the bat. Um, it's, it's a little warped, but it does look pretty good. Next up is his trench coat, which is made out of fabric, thank God. Um, but yeah, it's made out of a very nice material, and we'll take it off the stinger really quick. Um... But yeah, the trench coat, it's made of the same material as the Undertaker WrestleMania 32 figure. Um, the only thing that's missing is the Scorpion Deco on the back. Um, if you've seen the match on the actual event or on Sting's um, DVD that came out in 2014, um, you know it was actually it was actually made out of fabric, I think, but this material is really nice. It's also missing the slit in the back, unfortunately. But I guess if you have this figure, you can always customize it. But yeah, I love the work on this trench coat. It's got the big shoulder piece and then it's got the collar on it. Stitching is really good. Fits the singer nicely. And now we get on to the figure itself. Um, we'll start off with his head. Very nice paint job on it. I've seen some of these at retail that looked horrendous. Like the paint was all messed up on the face. Like the black was just messy. But I looked out and found one that was very nice. And the, it's got the dark brown hair. Um, and again, it's a, nice, it's a pretty good length for the hair so that you can easily move his head around. He's also got his uh, necklace. And of course, you got the white scorpion deco on the front of his uh, jumpsuit, which looks outstanding. Very nicely detailed. And it goes up into the diaphragm joint. It goes all the way around the back. And you got all the molded padded sections on his uh, ring gear here. And I love the detail on these boots too. You got the silver belt buckles. Um, but yeah, the only thing in terms of um, detail on the on his gloves in particular, he did have some writing on the gloves as well because I've watched the match. Um, but you could always like paint that extra detail in. Um, but yeah, as far as other accessories it comes with, aside from the trench coat and the baseball bat, I wish he would have come with the NWO spray-painted WCW Championship, because he did win the belt in the match. Um, for people who have seen it, will remember that. But in terms of articulation on the Stinger, his head can rotate left and right. It can also bob up and down. He's got a good ab crunch. Uh, swivels at the right waist. Uh, rotates at the shoulder, although the pads do kind of limit it a little bit. Um, rotates at the bicep, single bend in the elbow. Um, rotates at the wrist and also pivots in and outwards. Um, the left hand is a little wider though than the right one, but um, I forgot to mention that earlier. Leg can go this far out, uh, goes out this far, can't go back. Rotates at the upper thigh. Uh, double bend in the knee, rotates at the boot, and luckily on mine, his t his lower feet are are not frozen, and he's got a bit of an ankle rug, which isn't the greatest. So yeah, overall, 
I really do like this figure. I'm glad they brought back the Defining Moment series. I sadly don't have any of the older ones, but of the ones that have come out so far, you know, Flair, Hogan, Razor, Sting, Undertaker, Austin, and the Surfer Sting figure, I would have to say Sting is definitely one of my personal favorites, along with Taker, Flair. I do like Razor and Hogan, and Austin and the Surfer Sting are pretty good as well, but Sting... Taker and Flair are probably my favorites. But yeah, I would definitely recommend this figure if you see it. Again, the paint job is, a, is very good. Um, accessories, great. Would have liked to have seen the belt as well. Um, but yeah, I would give this figure probably a 9 out of 10 for me personally. The face paint looks great. Uh, no complaints there. Um, the Scorpion on the front looks great. The paint job overall is fantastic. And this is definitely one of my favorite figures of 2015, guys. So, thank you guys for watching the video. Be sure to like, comment, rate, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. And, whoa! Happy Father's Day.